the Akari Light Sculpture. A certified interior design classic. A timeless lighting piece that's seen a recent increase in popularity. Later on, I'm gonna be unboxing and assembling an Akari 1AD that I purchased from the Noguchi Museum in Queens, New York. But first, some dansplaining about how these modern icons came to be. I'm Dan, and this is Dansplaining, Noguchi's Akari Light Sculptures. Isamu Noguchi was an American sculptor, architect, and furniture designer. Considered by many to be one of the most influential industrial designers in modern history. His art spanned multiple mediums, but was rooted in a principle called biomorphism, an attempt to force naturally occurring shapes onto functional devices. Some of his more well-known pieces include the Garden of Peace at the UNESCO headquarters in Paris, Morinuma Park in Sapporo, Japan, Red Cube in New York City, and perhaps most popularly, the Noguchi table sold by Herman Miller. Through his work, we can see a clear line between nature and function. So when he visited Gifu, Japan in 1951, he found something right up his alley, paper lanterns. Gifu is historically known for its manufacturing of paper products. Noguchi saw these products and fused his industrial design know-how to create his own paper lamps. He called them Akari, meaning light as illumination, but also the concept of light as weightlessness. Production on these products began in 1951. And today you can purchase ones made using traditional Japanese methods from the Noguchi Museum gift shop in Queens, New York, or their website. Made of washi paper from the inner bark of the mulberry tree, bamboo ribbing is stretched across sculptural molded wood. The paper is then cut into strips and glued onto both sides of the wood. Once the glue is dried and the shape is set, the internal wooden form is then disassembled and removed. The outcome is a resilient paper form, which can be collapsed and packed flat for shipping. You'll see all of these elements in the unboxing and assembly, but before we start, a quote. All that you require to start a home are a room, a tatami, and a kari. A nice quote about living simply from one of the masters. Now, let's get started with the unboxing. Here is our first box. Inside of it holds the instructions, which I am not great at reading, but you know what? I did my best here. Next, we have a nice black plug, which goes into the wall and holds the light bulb and the switch. Next, we've got our Akari light sculpture box. It was very satisfying to unfurl this thing into its little bulb shape. We see a Noguchi logo, I'm gonna remove some white paper, and we can remove our metal frame, as well as the three legs that hold this little guy up. One, two, three. We've got an E26 light bulb. I recommend getting a warmer light bulb, and we are ready to rock. I had a helper with me. We're going to unfurl our beautiful paper lantern. It was so nice, I had to do it twice. Folds out like an accordion. Very, very satisfying. We're gonna insert our metal frame into the top of the paper lantern. Have your helper hold the frame there as you then put the switch of the light bulb through the small opening on the bottom of the metal frame. Next, you can start inserting each of your three legs, rounded part through the silver metal hoop on the bottom of the lantern. On each leg, there is a little hook section that you then hook onto the bottom of the switch. You're gonna repeat that three times. It's best to have your helper hold it in place for you as you then put your gold washer on top, which just screws on and tightens it all together. Here I am enjoying the fruits of my labor. Wow, look at that thing, ready to rock. Here's my dog Bruno checking it out. I don't think he likes it. His ears went down. Ew. Here it is basking in the day's sun, but obviously because these are lamps, they shine best at night, so. Let's turn on the lo-fi and enjoy their beautiful glow. <laughs> 